That's the way you answer. Put this camera here. Because Noah Lyles, Noah Lyles, let me tell you, I want to humbly apologize to you from the bottom of my heart. Because I watch you run full show, I watch your semi-final, you look off in the semi-final, you drifted to the left of the lane on your first 10 steps. I thought there was something wrong, you were pushing harder with your right leg. I say you had no chance to come higher than fifth because Kashain Thompson looked comfortable, looked smooth. Oblique Seville looked brilliant. Young man, cool and calm. He beat you in the semi-final. He stopped running at 80 meters and beat you. And to tell you the truth, I thought you had no chance. I thought you couldn't back up your Yu-Gi-Oh cards, your gallery, your big raw and so on. But you are a real man. And you proved me wrong because that is a champion. You came out under pressure. You may not have been your sharpest. I don't know. But you came out when it mattered, at the correct time. You had a horrendous start. And you put on, I want to see the speed from 60 to 100. What was his top speed? Because I feel that was close. The only man I ever see run faster than that was one Usain Bolt at that speed. So Noah Lyles, I humbly apologize for mm -hmm. doubting you. And I am now a fan because any man who could stand like that and make the whole Caribbean get depressed when we thought it's one two Jamaica, I must say, enough respect, my brother. Brilliant. And for the 200 J.H.U., he looking <laughs> good. Oh, Lord. Yeah, that was, uh, that was something, oh, right? We, we all sat here glued to the television sets and listening to the entire Caribbean. We, we, couldn't, hear, we couldn't hear the entire Caribbean, but in, in essence, we could have heard them. We could have heard the pin drop silence throughout the many islands, throughout the millions across the archipelago. And, uh, uh, you know, credit must be given to Noah Lyles.